Character entries. Oh boy. Okay. We have. Oh. Okay. Okay. Bran. King Bran, former king of Skellige Islands, lived a long and storied life when he finally felt decrepitude taking hold of him. Ah, uh, that's what they were saying. He went to hunt a bear armed only with a knife, and thus ended his reign. It was remembered as an honorable and respected one, though some complained he preferred raiding to confronting the Isles' long-term problems and let his wife tongue wag too freely. Some connected the two, claiming Bran to let the fight overseas battles to put off dealing with the ones awaiting him at home. Crack. Skellige sagas brim with praise for war chiefs and warrior braves of ages past. Yet the saga of Krak, Jarl of Clan, An Krait, and Lord of Kertrold will outshine them all. It will sing of his strength, his courage, his wisdom, his generosity, his loyalty to his friends, and his relentless pursuit of his foes. There will be few exaggerations in such a tale, for Krak, the mightiest of Skellige's Arls, truly did possess all the traits of a hero. He aroused terror in his armies. In fact, Elfgardian mothers would use his name to frighten their children into obedience. And all in that empire spoke in hushed tones of the infamous Terthius Mur, the wild boar of the sea who devastated coastal provinces during frequent and terrible raids. Jarl had known Crack for long, since at the time when, as a young man, the Jarl had sought the hand of young Paveda, Ciri's mother. That's right, because she's part, um, Ciri's part, um... Well, that's because the other guy was Elgal. Like, uh, it's so difficult to keep track. Most druids in Skellige differ from the deeply rooted continental stereotype of a greybeard old man in white robes brewing before bowing for sacred oaks, taming wyverns, and pestering local lords. Petitions to add yet another species to the list of protected beasts. Ermion, Geralt's old acquaintance, was no exception in this regard. A stiff bearded, spindly man was the leader of the druid circle in Skellige. He was also Jarl Crack's um, crates, advisor on matters of magic and the mystical, as well as on any and all issues requiring more refinement than a well tied uppercut or a hard swung axe. Armian was known to be obstinate and have a tendency, quite rare in Skellige, to consider all possible consequences of a particular course of action before it was undertaken. All this meant that conversing with him demanded a considerable amount of time and patience. Burnai. It can be difficult for a woman to gain the esteem of knights and warriors not accustomed to seeing female hands on the reins of power. It helps little wind like Berna, widow of King Bran of Skellige, a woman seeking power is filled with acrid disdain for her countrymen and their customs. Is she not from Skellige? One might argue that disdain is a valid reaction when, in the case of the passing of a man who, of a man of power who embodies tradition, those customs call on her to follow long since outdated ritual and cast herself on her husband's funeral pyre. Justified or not, Berna's desire to rewrite age-old Skellige traditions put her at odds with the Jarls and made it unlikely that she'd be remembered alongside of Kalenth of Sintra or Meave of Lyria as a successful and revered ruler. Hmm. So I bet you Berna, Krak, and maybe even Ermion are, are, are options, and I, I, might have to, I might be able to put some sway into who gets to be the next king. Or queen. Next leader. I don't know, though. That's just me guessing. That's kind of inquisition-y of me. Let's go! I did it! I finally did it! And the game can stop yelling at, yelling at me about it. No swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. <laughs> me trusty axe. A man in need? Not right now. Nope. I have to go. Hang out here, Plutza. Got me eye on you. Got me eye on you. Is that right, mate? I don't think they use the word mate, but they sound almost more uh, Celtic than Scandinavian. Need our way Shield maiden. Hey! Cool. Oh. Sorry. Adventure seeker. Nice. Oh. Oh. Yep, excuse me. A Valkyrie. What's your step? Oh, there's a, there's a, there's an herbalist down, down, down on the, down? Oh, down there. I see. Ooh, look at that. This was a nice time. During the day, it would have been different, but this is kind of nice to show up at night for the funeral and everything. That does seem really outdated to, like, throw the person, I mean, I don't know. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff down there. But, yeah, and look at my boots. They look nice. Oh wait. Oh shoot. I just realized I had the wrong one selected. Ah, where are we supposed to be? Where is the inn at? It's down there, isn't it? Dang it, I knew it. I was like, I feel like the inn wouldn't be up here. <laughs> ah. 
serve her who is virgin mother and crone. That's crone? Crone? That's not good. That's not Freya. Freya was very promiscuous. Well, you know, not promiscuous, she just slept with people. I think it worked out because freaking Hera couldn't sleep with anybody, and Zeus was cheating on her all the time. Kind of sucked to be Hera. Seems like the Nordic goddesses have a little bit more freedom in that respect. No, oh, not right now. Don't eat so much. Why this? Because if it gets to the no terror, you get the Yikes! May she serve our king worthily. One day we will meet again. The horse? Wow. Like, wow. I mean, usually when you kill the horse, you kill it with the guy, but you don't just leave it here. Like, ew. And there's the axe and everything. You're just a warrior. But you're a shield maiden. Cool! That's cool! I wish I was a girl in this game. Then I could be a shield maiden. That'd be awesome! Shield maidens are so cool! They're so cool! Our valiant king! Red is our loss! Ah, you guys are warriors, not guards. We offer you our maidens, the symbol of our father. Did they shave their heads? Our skulls shall be bare till a new king is up to pass. As strong as he looks. Let's drink to Brad and Sand Mercer. Let's drink to Canon Crips. Let's take on the burden of this farewell. This fight going on? I wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Me? Outlanders are welcome to try to. Glory uh -oh. and honor range everywhere. Uh oh, what? This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and the luxury. She's on the ground. She's on the ground floor. I would not have expected her to be on the ground floor in front of a place where guys can brawl. I'm sure she'd t tan their hides if she knew. Oh, good. I can store my stuff in Yen's room. Whoa. Oh, this was like what Triss her had in her room. Guess she never goes anywhere without it. As Philippa Eilhart said, megascopes and toothbrushes. Deeply <laughs> personal possessions. Deeply personal. Uh, well, okay, so it looks like there's a chest over there, but what's glowing red over here? Oh, no, I know what that is. Oh, boy, oh, boy. No idea how she managed to bring so much clothing. Must have hired out a galleon. As usual, black and white. Of course. Oh god, I don't even want to. Hmm. The stuffed unicorn. She fixed it. That's kind of horribly morbid to like have sex on a dead unicorn. Like, oh god. Oh, I'm never touching that thing. You can't. Not with a freaking nope. <laughs> well, let me store. I'll sell those things, but let me store. Oh wait, I think I didn't need to store those. Oh well. Oh boy. I'm running out of room. I'm running out of room. Whoopsie. I did not mean to jump on that. She will get very mad. Tessia DeVries, the poison source. Still turns to it for inspiration. No one is born a mage. Oh boy, it's a lot. We still know too little about genetics and the mechanisms of heredity. We devote too little time and resources to this research. Sadly, we still conduct trials on the inheritance of magic ability using, let us say, natural methods. The result of these pseudo-experiments are far too often can be seen in the gutters of our cities and begging outside our temple walls. Far too often we see and encounter brain-dead and moronic women, women covered in their own spittle and passing themselves off as prophetesses, seers, village div diviners, and miracle workers, cretins with brains degenerated by the uncontrolled power they inherited. These simpletons and fools can themselves breed, can pass on their abilities, and continue the de degeneration. Is anyone capable of proceeding or defining what the last link in such a chain will look like? Most of us mages lose the ability to procreate as a result of changes and disruptions to the functioning of our pituitary glands. 
Others, sorceresses, most often mature into their ma magic powers with gonads intact. They can conceive and give birth and have the audacity to consider what a, that a good fortune a blessing. Yet I repeat, no one is born a mage, and no one should be. Aware of the gravity of what I write, I provide an answer to the question posed at the summit in Sedaris. I answer with every certitude. Each of us must decide what she wants to be, a sorceress or a mother. That doesn't make sense. I mean, I know that this, is com this came up a little bit in the book, so I remember, but... The first four, anyways, what I've read. So, is it, like, if, if they... It, it has to be hereditary, but it only maybe pops up every so often. But I thought, I thought sorceresses... I thought most of the time, they didn't... They couldn't reproduce. They couldn't procreate, especially sorceresses. And that's why... It's one of Yen's big things, is that she wanted to be able to have a baby. Well, I don't understand. A sorceress. I, I, if, if somebody wants to explain that to me, feel free, because I don't understand why you can't be one and the other. Like, if you're able to procreate, why not? If you can't, it's fine. If you can, if you want to, go ahead. It's not like the one that, that is born from you is going to be off off the bat bad, right? If it's not hereditary, then why is it bad to have kids? Doesn't make sense. Does it make sense? Ooh. Don't mind me. Nah, I already read that. Nah. Alright, clothes are in here. Whoa, wait. Uh, no, I'm good. Wow, I'm glad I didn't buy those. Okay. No, gal. You can't even see him under my 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 shoes. Where'd the shoes go? Didn't I pick up the shoes? Oh, I did. Wow. Really? He's wandering around in slippers. Oh my gosh, she looks ridiculous. Do we have to wear? Can we wear the? Can we wear the boots at least? Please, I cannot take him seriously. Otherwise, right, just not something I'd ever wear. But <laughs> what don't we do for our? Hmm, who exactly is she to me? She's a loved one. Interesting that he asks that question. Ah, interesting. I thought he was like, I know who she is to me, but maybe he's questioning it. He's just been in and out with Tris. He's not quite sure. That's good to question it and not just be like, hey, yeah, let's just do it. Besides, it's gotta be two ways, right? He can't feel one way and then be like, yes, we are this. She has to say, uh, she has to be cool with it too. Oh, maybe I should get a haircut. Except, oh no, he's open. Cool. You kinda scary. You look like Happen. Greetings. Smooth seas this morn, as if the gods themselves were paying their respects to the great Konung Bran. You a tailor? I am. Only one in the Isles, most like. No, wait, uh, I thought you were... Take it, you're good with scissors. Give me a haircut. You're asking a tailor for a haircut? I do, but it wouldn't be right to turn down a traveler. Um, the Elven Rebel cut. Uh, what did, didn't, didn't I look at that already? Hmm. Shaved except for a ponytail. Long and loose. Loose, not too long. Oh, it's the song! I hear it's the song that the bard sang. Let me, let me look at this one. Oh, right. Nope. <laughs> Let's test out beards. Friendly mutton chops, a mustache, and a soul patch. 
Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> So long. Oh boy. I mean, it doesn't look bad. No. <laughs> no. Do, 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 do. As that was a good song. Told it, there's been a magic explosion in Skellig. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. <laughs> we get, a, get an image of. Geralt somehow magically surviving the crash. Oh my gosh, if this is an infinite loading screen, I will be very angry. Alright, hey. This is gonna be a minute. Greetings. Smooth sea. You a tailor. I am. Take it, you're good. Tien so. Hmm. Try that. Oh! So long. So it just gr it just grows the hair out under my head a little bit more. Oh, that's right. I remember that one. Um, I mean, I don't know. I think I'll keep my hair the way it is, or Geralt's hair the way it is. I mean, long is kind of tempting. Geralt set out for the Isles Maybe to I'll look at it long. and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. Man, I did not realize I've been playing for a, a very long time today. Oh boy. <laughs> I always do that. F5. Nope, but thank you. I can't because I'm with the controller. Greetings. Appreciate it though. I am? I could press the F5. It's right in front of me. Take it, you're I mean, this haircut fits. I think it's like a Skellige type cut, but... Wow. Wow! <laughs> so long. It looks like Kira's hair. Wow. That is some gorgeous locks. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, let's just uh let's just go. <laughs> As Jennifer Bengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellig. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt said Yeah, we haven't talked about that yet, but thanks for the spoiler. And further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. I like his haircut. I might try to go back to the original ponytail, maybe, but I like sort of the rebel look. The elven rebel cut just looks like... I don't even know. It doesn't even look like an elven rebel cut. I don't know. Hi, kitty cat. We serve her who is bird and mother of the your rocks never come Uh, there's Freya, and there's... Um... Don't eat so much. Why the spit not? Because if you get hit in the gut and those herrings get tangled in your entrails, there'll be no hope for you. Huh. Oh, did I? I mean, I read that? Okay. Right. Shouldn't eat or drink too much for a raid. After the revolution. Who are there, Witcher? No! I gotta go meet my lady love. As Dandelion calls her. Okay, I love these boots. I hope Yennefer doesn't get mad. They even match my current outfit. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, don't be angry. Grab 
those swords, but I prefer the trusty axe. <laughs> hey, to each his own. I didn't realize the druids were such a force of uh, political power in Skellige. Maybe I did, I just don't remember. Wow, this is cool. Got me eye on you. Yeah? Good for you, mate. Yeah, running uphill is tiring, I know. a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. I don't know. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt. And this is Bernard. Look at those Bernard, little things! The, brand. the Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me. But on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my penchant for long conversations. Lovely outfit. You look dashing. Thank you. You're dazzling. <laughs> you know I really missed your candidness. I'm glad we're here together. <sighs> Don't like funerals. Don't like feasts. I know. You also dislike underdone meat and being teleported. But sometimes <laughs> we must overcome our disgusts and prevail. Ah, uh, yes indeed. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why well, dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all of you? Of course. I plan to tell you what I think. Nah. I'm listening. Our wagon's full of loot to be ready for the black ones. We've also wine from the temples of Melitoli. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. <gasps> Thank you. I was gonna say, does she not like it? <laughs> Lady Yennefer. Hello. Sir. Greetings, Arnold. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Krak on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. You sound like somebody's talking while trying to press up against their throat. You wanted to meet the notorious witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates. Allow me the dubious <laughs> That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand. Blue boy Lugus, Madman Lugus' firstborn. And choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. <laughs> Set us with the sons of Jarls exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely not. 
Varys ah. is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. We all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crap about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when I Gilbert really doubt it. challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you in? If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Sure. Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! I would say she might have been a bit, um, what's the word? We're here. Feel inclined. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls what's the axe there? from the stump first wins. I'm ready. You'll start when there's, I sound the horn. There's something up there, though. Wait, what? Um, I run? Oh, I have to run. Show me. What's up there? There's there's something circling up there. I don't want to beat her to be honest. I want to let her win. Hurry it up, old but man. but letting her win would be bad too. You know, like it wouldn't be doing her any favors. She wants to be taken seriously. And so I shall be take her seriously. Okay, she's kind of behind me, so I'm not gonna worry about sprinting. I forget, I don't have like basically unlimited stamina like my horse does. Show me Wait. what you've got, monster slayer. Is there? Uh, where is it? Oh god, she's right behind me. Oh boy. Is there monsters up here? One, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the week. Let's. What if I let her win? See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. Lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. It'll likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? <laughs> You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Well, boy, howdy, don't promise me too much. <laughs> Got a minute? Sad when someone like Bran dies. Everyone says he was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mean you don't agree? Bran spent his life at sea. 
And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the Isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, came and there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. Ah. Farewell. Priestess. Are there other kinds? Axe tossing. How exciting! Look at this. I got the shields up. Whoa! Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a Witcher. Geralt, Yaldona and Hinder, and Yar Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Yikes. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha. Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Uh... Settle this outside. Who the fuck are you to advise me, eh? Someone with better manners. You insult Bran's memory and Crack's hospitality with this. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial ah. Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully moody, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Ah. Woo. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some toy version. And here I was ready to puke from all the boredom. Come I probably on, shouldn't freak. have done that. Show us what you're made of. Move the benches. There's to be some gob slapping. Is Yennefer gonna be mad at me? Holy crap, he's level 30! Nope, quick, 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 quick! Nope, I have no powers. Oh boy. I can't even see him now. Ow. I can't see anything! Any last words? Had enough? Ah, uh, oh, you got me good. That were quite a while. Up. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, m'lady. It's my deep conviction. Sorceresses are needed. Deeply so. No offense taken. Forget about it. That I like. And the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your I was gonna say, this might be this might be what happened. It's a worthy one. Witcher, they show have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. <laughs> and visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a witcher. <laughs> We're best pals now. Pass. I thought this Maybe might happen if you prove your strength. For an ale in the tavern near Aaron Bjorn. Then you put a short jaunt to find me so as we can knock back something. <laughs> oh, okay. Here's to our next. Okay. Sure. I'll knock one back with you, Lugos. Drink like you fight, and we're in for a good time. Oh, Tomorrow. boy. Yennefer and I. It would be honor. rude. Here's to your health. She's Forgive mad. Us. We should mingle, talk to some of the other guests. 